Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have another empties already. I don't know how this happened. I feel like I just filmed my other empties, but I guess that was called my spring empties, so this will be my summer empties. And I'm filming this now because my bag is already full again. I think it's not that full, it's just that there's a lot of big items in this time. So yeah, if you're new to these videos, I just basically review my trash and it's fun because I get to give you like a... Someone is doing yard work. <laughs> I'm gonna have to close the window and then I'm gonna start sweating profusely again. I think they stopped. Okay. So I give you a review. <laughs> okay. So I give you a review on my garbage, basically. But it's usually a good video to film because I've used these products up entirely. So I have, like, you know, some thoughts on them. So this first one that I just picked up is from the brand. I used to call this brand Mr. Greengrass, but it's just M Greengrass, so I don't know if it's a Mr. or what. So I'm just going to say M Greengrass Skin Care. This was a foaming body scrub, and the fragrance was cardamom and lavender, and I really loved this. I didn't love the fragrance. If they make this in other fragrances, I would um, pick it up if I ever saw it. I got this from BoxyCharm, but I think I've seen this brand like at Winners or Marshalls, those kind of places, so I might look out for it because I really love this. Um, the notes were bergamot, lemon, cardamom, lavender, coffee, geranium, rose, amber, balsam, and patchouli. And those are all like things I love, but it just came across smelling like a men's cologne. So yeah, but I love the formula of it. As you can see, like there was these like scrubby bits in it. I don't know what they were made of, but this brand is all like natural kind of thing. Um, let me find out because I am curious now. Oh, walnut shell powder. That's what that was. So yeah, this was really good. I just didn't love the fragrance. Then I finally finished my Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion Age Defying Exfoliator. Another product from BoxyCharm. This is so old. This, I believe, was in like my first BoxyCharm ever. Um, and I kind of forgot about it because I was using this when I lived at my condo. Um, and then I put it away. And then when I moved here, I put it in a box and I forgot about it. So when I ran out of my last scrub that you would have saw my last empties, I went to find like what's my next oldest one and I was like, oh this one and it was like full, well I thought it was, but it was just full of air. So there was actually only like a few weeks of use left on this and I really love this but it's very expensive so I would only ever buy it again if I didn't have, you know, other things to use and if I saw it at BoxyCharm pop-up or whatever that's called um, because this is really good. It has a lot of beads in it so it actually feels like it's doing something unlike the one I'm using now which I'll tell you about at some point but yeah I liked this one and it had like a minty feeling so it just felt like really it was a nice experience. Oh, here is another toothpaste. I thought I already talked about this one, but I also hate this toothpaste. <laughs> My empties videos are just like me hating on toothpaste. But this one, it was the Colgate Essentials with coconut oil. Not good. No, I don't like it. I prefer my... Is it this one? Yes, I actually have one empty of this. This is the toothpaste I always go back to. It's not the most like healthy or natural one, but I just feel like it works. It's the Crest 3D White Glamorous White. I actually feel like this does something, especially as someone who drinks a lot of coffee and tea. My teeth get 
quite stained and like they're not looking their best right now but I think this makes them look better so this is the one I recommend glamorous white I think they have other like white toothpaste but this one's the best one I think that's it for my toothpaste <laughs> oh I thought okay here's the other scrub I thought this was in my last empties this was the Murad Hydration AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. So when I ran out of this one, that's when I went to get that one. Um, this one is my favorite so far. Out of all the exfoliators I've been trying, I still would go back to this one. This is another very expensive one, but I got this from BoxyCharm and I've seen it for sale on BoxyCharm for like, you know, 80% off or something so I would buy it again from BoxyCharm not from Sephora because even when it's on sale at Sephora it's still like something ridiculous like 30 to 40 dollars it is a big size but still I like to get a deal but I do love this exfoliating cleanser especially if you have dry skin this one's really good Oh, then I ran out of my SPF because I went to Cuba and I was using this every day as my body sunscreen and I this is my favorite body sunscreen. It's the Hawaiian Tropic Sheer Touch Ultra Radiance. Um, even though it's only SPF 30, I feel like it works really well. I did get burnt to a crisp <laughs> in Cuba, but that's because on the first day we were there, I didn't put... Um, sunscreen on my back and it was really bad but I really like this one um, yeah it smells good it is a, a sheer touch like it doesn't feel thick and greasy which I like so I would definitely buy this again I think this was just the travel size because it's only 90 ml like it's the one you can bring on a plane if you have a carry-on so I would buy this again um, in this size or the big one. Um, oh, then I finally ran out of my Joey uh, Hydrating Water Mist. This was, oh, the lights just flashed. This was a um, continuous mist, which I love. And it smelled kind of florally, which was a little too much for me. But I, I just loved the experience of this because of the continuous mister and I would use it like when I got out of the shower so it just felt like really nice and refreshing. I got this from Influencer a bun with a bunch of other Joe A products and I liked all of them that I tried. So I believe you can get this brand at Shoppers if you're in Canada. Um, yeah, I liked this. I don't need to buy any more mists. I'm actually on a mist no buy so like no setting sprays no toners no because i have way too many but i like this one. Oh, here's the other joey product this was the micellar cleansing water i think i liked this i should go back and look anyway if i ever say that I got something from Influencer. I have a review on Influencer of it. If you want to read an actual review that was written like after I <laughs> used it, so I remember more. Um, I always leave my Influencer linked below. But yeah, this was the micellar cleansing water in the same line. So it had that like florally scent. It says Imperial Peony. So I guess that's what the scent was. And this was just one of these, like, you have to dump out. Um, so yeah, I mean, it worked, I feel. But that's all I really remember about it. I don't really care about my cellar waters, as long as I take my makeup off. And I only use them for my eyes. Well, I shouldn't say only, because when I'm super lazy and I don't feel like doing my whole skincare routine, sometimes I just use a micellar water for my whole face. But yeah, I do prefer this one over the Garnier, which I will say. So there's that. Then I have this full of hair, Olay Fresh Outlast Body Wash. I hated this. 
I used the whole thing, but I hated it. Um, it smelled so strong. It says notes of birch water and lavender, and I love lavender, but it was just way too much. And my, I got this from my mom because she got like a three pack from Costco. So yeah, I wouldn't buy this again and I wouldn't recommend it. It's just, no, not fun. Um, this is a, oh, color and shine conditioner from L'Oreal Preference. This is the conditioner that comes in the box of dye that you get from them. And I actually really liked it. It felt like it actually worked. It says it's with Camellia, no, Camelina oil, vitamin E, and UV filter. So it's really for like protecting your hair color after you dye it. And I think it said on the box like you were only supposed to get six uses from this, but I got like many weeks of use from this because I didn't use a lot of it at once and I don't wash my hair. Um, that often so that helped but yeah I liked this and I did like that hair dye um, you can't really like see it anymore all my grays are showing but I think I'll just get my hair dyed professionally going forward because it was just like a big to do and I didn't like enjoy doing it so <laughs> I'll just pay the extra money to get it done by a professional Oh, and then I have like continuing continuing with hair care. I finally finished my Way shampoo and conditioner, the smooth ones. So this is like super old. They don't even make their products in this packaging anymore. I think they still make this line, but it might be. I don't know if they only changed the packaging or if they reformulated. But anyway, I didn't like these. I was just going through them because I had them. I bought them way back from Sephora when they were on sale, so I got a good deal, but still, I didn't love it. And I don't think I love smoothing shampoos and conditioners anymore. I just feel like they make my hair super limp, and I don't have as much hair as I did when I was younger. It's like getting thinner um, as the days go by. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I wouldn't get that again even in the new version and then i have a toner this is from clean and clear the lemon juice toner another thing i got from influencer i never would have bought this because to me clean and clear is for like when you're in high school and you think you have acne and you want to use something for it but i actually ended up loving this line i got the cleanser and something else and I loved all of it so yeah this is an oil-free toner with vitamin C so if you want something with vitamin C but at a drugstore price I would recommend this line I hope it, they still make it this is very old but yeah used up this whole thing there's not even like one drop left in there uh, another skincare product and then the rest two skincare products and the rest is like makeup which is kind of exciting so this was the origins original skin cleansing makeup removing jelly with willow herb i really like this the only thing is i couldn't use it to remove my eye makeup because it would make my eyes so cloudy like I couldn't see anything so that's why I use my cellar water for my eyes but I did use this all over the face and it was really nice especially for dry skin I feel like it was very hydrating and like soothing so I would recommend this one if you don't mind not using it to remove your eye makeup but maybe wait for it when it's on sale because Origins always goes on sale and then I actually have an eye cream. This was the Grown Alchemist Age Repair Eye Cream. It was a pump style. And if you can see, there is actually still product like around the sides at the bottom, but I can't get it out. So I don't like the packaging of this. I did at first because I didn't have to like dip my fingers in, 
but then you're losing like so much of the product and grown alchemist is a very pricey brand but i actually got this from influencer again so um i did really like this though it was very hydrating i felt i don't think it was age repairing but it was hydrating so i liked it for that purpose but i don't think i would buy it again due to the packaging okay this is something you would have seen in my deck of panning update because i decided to get rid of this it's not officially empty like there's still a bit more down here but i couldn't do it anymore it's the bosha perfecting white charcoal mattifying treatment primer i was using it as a primer and i did like mattify my pores and like fill them in but the problem is it didn't work with the makeup you put on top of it so i don't understand like the purpose of this so I moved it to my skincare and I started using it as like a serum, like a treatment and it didn't work like that either because it would leave a white film on my face. So <laughs> I'm just getting rid of this. Anyway, I don't think this product even exists anymore. I got it in a Sephora favorite set from a long time ago. So that's going in the garbage. And finally, I finished my Project Beauty Spray Set Go. There is still a tiny bit at the bottom, but it doesn't come out of the spray anymore. Um, so that's considered an empty to me. I actually really liked this product. It reminded me of the MAC Fix Plus, but it, it doesn't have like the nice scent of Fix Plus, so I do prefer Fix Plus. Also, I don't know where you get this brand because I got this in a boxy charm years ago but it's finally done so I'm glad to have a setting spray out of my collection because it's getting wild um then I have my milk makeup kush clear brow gel which I'm also very excited to have done because I didn't like this very much I didn't feel like it did much it's very disgusting <laughs> something leaked in here um but yeah i didn't feel like it did much i didn't like the brush it's too short like it doesn't even lift your brow hairs so like it's too short this way but also the bristles are too short so i definitely wouldn't recommend this i only bought this because it was like six dollars from boxycharm but yeah don't get the milk kush clear brow gel there's so many other brow gels on the market even at the drugstore that are better than that one and then my last three products are all mascaras so this one from aveda unfortunately is not really an empty um the issue is that it expired and it smells horrible i don't even want to open this it smells like vinegar it's just clearly off because i know this mascara um i used, it used to be one of my favorites so yeah i had a backup but it's it's so old by now like i don't even remember when i got this but anyway it expired so that has to go and then these two i actually used up i mean I feel like no one ever actually uses up a mascara. It's just that you've had it open for so long that it dried up. So that's kind of what happened with these. Um, but this was the mascara I was using like on the daily. I try to only have like three mascaras open at a time. So I was using the Maybelline Sky High. This is one of my favorite, if not my favorite mascara ever, I think. I really miss it actually so I would repurchase this but I just keep getting mascara from BoxyCharm or from like samples so I don't ever need to buy mascara but I would rebuy this one and this was the blackest black one and then I was using this wet n wild mega length on my lower lashes but it's just too dry to keep going and actually it was very dry from the get-go so i don't know if it dried up before i even got it or if 
that's just how the formula is. But I did like it for my lower lashes because it's a very thin um, wand. But yeah, it's just dry and it's done. So that's going to. So that was everything. Um, yeah, a lot of skincare, but a lot of skincare and mascara, I guess. <laughs> but that's, you know, real life. I don't wear makeup like often enough to have empties of full products but i hope you like this video anyway um yeah if you did give it a like subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video bye